Hi, this is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up follow-up messages with a Weber autoresponder system. This is so you can put a form on your website, capture people's email addresses, and automatically follow up with your follow-up messages. So, what's the first thing you do? First thing you need to do is sign up with an account with aweber.com. I'll put the link below. You go ahead and sign up. Now, here you can see I'm logged in. Once I'm logged in, I come here to list, right? And I come down here to create new list. So I'm going to put my company name. Okay. This is going to be obviously just a test. Okay. www.mytestwebsite.com. You would put your website here you have the email address you have to have a postal address that you use a legitimate one you can put uh the sender name what who is this going to be from i'll say my test list and then i'm going to either add a, an email okay and by that i want to add an email or i can use a email that i have already so I'm going to add an email. So I go here, put my email, send verification. Now I'm going to get a verification email. So here you go. We've got the email address, um, the email. It's been sent to us to confirm. So we click here to confirm. And now our email has confirmed, has been confirmed. And we go right here to our account. We're going to go start setting up our list. Okay, so next you want to come back to uh, the page where you're setting up your list. Okay, so if you're logged into a web, you can come back to list and create a new list. All right, so you come here, you put, you have to do this again, I guess, my test website. My test company name let's put that and then here your website okay i find it has to be a real website so I'll put a real website there and you really have to have your own website to use the aweber service you know you're going to have to have an address shown a postal address shown in all your emails that's the law so you can have a your address here you can add a different address if you want I'm just going to use this one this is the from name what people will see as who this who the emails are coming from for this list and for each list that you have you can have a different from name it's for a different project so I'll just put coolmarketingsoftware.com and then we'll come back and find the verified email we just verified email this is the one we just verified so I come here, I choose the verified email and a next step, um, you know, great marketing tips, I'm going to give free software reviews, affiliate marketing. You put whatever your list is about here. And this is, again, this is just a test. So I'm doing this quickly to show you. Then we go here, pick what language it is it's in. And you're going to have to have a confirmation uh, message because when people join your list, they're going to get a confirmation email to ask them, hey, did they really sign up for your list? And you have your different choices of confer confirmation emails. And you can even request a cus custom subject line to, that they have to approve. But for now, we're going to stay with the default. And this is going to be the you know, uh, the confirmation message they're going to put. Now you can customize it a bit, you know, please click, uh, below to confirm that you'd like to receive email from, uh, you will then be able to download $597 of pro marketing software for free. And, uh, Hey, thanks, Matt. You can customize a little bit. Um, this is going to be the button. 
But here it always says thanks com company name, so I'm not going to repeat it. So you're going to preview it. This is what people are going to get. Nice and simple. Confirm your um, subscription and approve message and create list. Now the list has been created. Here's my li a list. It's called Great Marketing Tips, right? So here I'm already in my Great Marketing Tips newsletter. Now I can choose another list by coming down here, all my different lists that I've created before, but now I'm in the Great Marketing Tips newsletter. Now I want to create my messages. I already have the first one, and now I want the follow-up series messages. So I'm going to come up here and create follow-up messages. Okay. Now, um, you could use their templates or I generally just use the HTML editor. All right. I find actually it's simpler or you can do plain text messages if you just want to keep it really simple. So I like to use the HTML editor if you want to fool around with their templates. And so now I'm going to create a message and I'm going to personalize it because on my form, I'm going to collect the, per the email, uh, the first name of the person or the name of the person. Okay. Uh, welcome to my newsletter. Okay. And I'm going to do personalize it again. Come here, put the fir first name. Oops. Let's do it here down in the bottom of the message. It's always nice to personalize it. First name. Welcome to my newsletter. Here is my free software. Okay, I'm just doing very short messages. It's going to be up to you to come up with some follow-up messages but on, on what you're promoting and selling. You talk about the benefits of what you're promoting and selling. You can give people valuable information about your niches, about your niche or, and or your product. Uh, this is going to be up to you in your creativity. Say if I want this hyperlink to come here and I put the URL. We go. Now this is hyperlinked. And you can you know include whatever information you want in here. Again, I'm doing this quickly and these are just sample emails. So now I've got one message. I've got my first message. Now, what I want to do is add this to a follow-up series. So I click add to a follow-up series. Okay, this is my first message. So it's going to be the first message they're going to get once they confirm, right? I can choose to track clicks on it if I want. Now I want to go and come to messages follow-up series. Okay. Create another message. I like to use the HTML meta, uh, editor and now I'm going to create my next follow-up message. Okay. Personalize it. This is follow-up message number two. Same thing. Personalize it. This is follow up message number two. Put your whole message in here. Again, obviously you wouldn't just put this, you would put more. So now we have our second message. Well, now I'm going to add to follow up series. I could choose to send this to my whole list, but right now I don't have a list. I don't have any subscribers, but I want to create a follow up series. That's what this video is about. So I add to follow up series. Now, now that I got the first message, I can choose to send this follow-up message one day afterwards, two days afterwards, 10 days afterwards. I kind of like uh, to space them out four days. I could choose to track clicks, send message based on each subscriber's local time. That's kind of a good thing to do. Um, and might as well apply that to all messages. So now I've got my second message, add to follow-up series. Now I've got two messages. So you can get in the idea here. I can have a hundred messages if I want. 
so that if someone subscribes, confirms they get my first message, then four days later, they're going to get my second message. Four days later, next message, next message, next message. So you could, you could send automatic messages every four days or every week, depending on how you want to do it, for a year if you want. Here's one of my follow-up series, okay? And you can see how many messages I have every four days. And this is extremely good marketing. I mean, this really works. So now, so you can have all these messages if you want, or if following up on, with, uh, with your prospects. So you see how, how good this is, because once someone subscribes, you're going to be following up for a long time. So if they don't buy the first time, the second time, the third time, they're, you know, after a couple months, maybe they're going to get to know you and feel good about you. If you have good messages, if you have good information, you always have to have good information. You've got to think of the subscriber. What's, what are you doing to give value to the subscriber all the time? Um, and then if you have credibility and you have good products and services, Hey, you're in business. So I'm going to come down here to great, uh, marketing tips, our test, our test list. Okay. Here we are. So now I'm going to come up to sign up forms. We're going to create a sign up form I'm in my list. Now I'm going to create a sign up form, create a sign up form. Um, I can do it for my website or my landing page. I'm going to do it for my website right now. And they have all kinds of ways to integrate. I'm making this really simple. All right. You can edit all this, edit all that. If you want, you click here and you add stuff, take away stuff. You can have different designs and so forth and play around with that. Uh, you can eliminate this. If you want, you can play around with this editor for my purposes. I'm just going to click save the form because we're doing a, a basic thing here and I'm going to go to step two. You could choose your thank you page, basic version, or if you have your own website, thank you page custom, you can make it, or they can stay on the, on the same page. See what it looks like. You're almost, this is what the standard one looks like. You can keep that. Okay. Stay on current, current page. Then they'll just get a little notice that they subscribed. Um, this is a, a page that people would get if they've already subscribed and they're trying to subscribe twice. You could have your custom one or use theirs up to you, up to you. Um, I'm going to use their custom page. I mean, excuse me. I'm going to use the basic version and basic version on both. Save the form. Hey, you could fool around with advanced settings if you want. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Now go to step three. Now you have a choice. You can use. If you have a website, you can choose to install your form. You copy and paste the JavaScript code and put it on your website where you want the form to appear here. You have the HTML. So you, obviously you would have to have access to your website. You'd have to have your own website. Another option is they'll give you this little URL and it can act as a landing page. So you come here, you copy and paste this URL and there you have the landing page. Again, I didn't put any text up here. You're going to put text. You would obviously want to put text up here and tell people why they want to join your newsletter. You know, I'm just showing you the basics of this. It's going to be up to you to, to, uh, you know, customize your messages and customize your form. And I just want, this is, video is basically just to get you started with this. You can, uh, Aweber has other functions and features and more templates that you can use that you can play with to have a form, but at least you can have a form here, a way for people to come and join your newsletter and start building a list. So this whole idea is to get started. As you go, you can make it better. You can make the, the, the form better, but you need to start building a list right away. So here we are with our follow-up series. We just have two messages in here and we're going to, you could put more and more here, but I think now with this video, you know how to get started with Aweber and you can, you could do more with them as you explore the website, but this will get you going. Um, and it's probably one of the fastest ways to get going. I use uh, Aweber. I use also in multiple, um, installations of Sendy, which is a self hosted version, uh, of an autoresponder. It's a little bit more advanced. Uh, it can be a little bit more cost effective in the long term if you have a large list. So I, I just have part of my list here with Aweber. And I've got many other lists on many other domains using uh, Sendy. 
and I've used a number of different systems, but the reason I'm putting a Weber is that it's a, a really good way for people to get started. It's, it's all there and it's very reliable, a very reliable service. So I've got the link to sign up for a Weber um, below. Also highly recommend you get your own website and own domain. I've got a link for that below. Um, if you want to promote our promo affiliate program, classifiedsubmissions.com, I'm going to put up our follow-up messages in a zip folder on our affiliate uh, tips page, and you could download load those, and you could have a whole AWeber series just for your uh, classifiedsubmissions.com uh, affiliate uh, affiliate links, which could be a real dynamite thing to do. You know, you promote the list, and then you use our follow-up messages. And you could even mix them up with your own follow-up messages for other affiliate programs uh, that you could promote. So you just kind of see where we're going with this. So I'll put all that information in below uh, in the description. And also I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you'll be the first to know about these tips and tutorials and new software uh, that we come out with and new affiliate marketing tips. All right. So this is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com. Thank you so much.